Nearly there. Racing. Homebush Buck came out pretty well going out to it. Nobro on the outside. Join a Kersey and Homebush Rufus. The outside of those. Adroit tries to drive through. No room. Join a Kersey got back. So did Apollo King. Sally is back towards the tail of the field here. Homebush Rufus has the lead on the turn. Out and after it is Homebush Buck. Homebush Rufus holding Homebush Buck, who's now driving. Uh, I think Homebush Rufus, Homebush Buck. Driving up on the inside of those was Nobro late in the piece, and Sally made up a stack of ground. Uh, Apollo King was the next to go by. Uh, back behind Apollo King, adroit amongst the tail enders. Uh, back there too was uh, Joyner Kersey as well. The two JT McInerney runners sort themselves out. Homebush Rufus had the lead, but Homebush Buck just kept on coming. No bro made up a stack of ground. Three ninety is the trip. Kingman one. Technic two. Lucky's closing set racing. Kingman came out best, has a length on them. Coming after it on the outside to Apollo Baxter, ranging up a little wider. Subterfuge gets the second. In behind those, Technic gets the third. Back behind those, then is her power crusade and smoke and Marty. A well back, another Jamie and Terry Lurts at the back. Kingman on top. Subterfuge trying to close. Kingman is clinging to the lead and falls in, I think. Kingman maybe, a power crusade rattle late, subterfuge on the outside, just behind those to Technic, in behind Technic was Apollo Baxter, back behind those to another Jamie a power crusade and smoke and Marley, oh, I think Kingman might have just lasted here they were closing like the wind have a look at the yellow rugger power crusade, moted up on the inside subterfuge was putting in some nice work, Kingman in front just gets there He's rolling, we're set, racing, missing in Jimmy now, he's last out. One of the best out, Joey Baxter, but underneath it goes Opawa Noka, has the lead. Uh, rocketing after that on the outside is John Snow, lives Opawa, Faith round the outside. Uh, then came late Thor, Maya time on the outside. Uh, going back to last here is Joey Baxter, and back there with it is Jimmy Nail. Opawa Noka's off and gone here. Down towards the line, Opawa Noka's going to Bolton Beach, John Snow lives... Opawa Faith, the next across is Light Thor. Back behind those to Joey Baxter. Uh, Maya Time as well back, and Jimmy Nail is the last to go by. Made no bones about that at all. Bolted it. Absolutely brained them. Round the turn with about a five length advantage. Turning in. John Snow lives the only one to give chase, but it was distant, and the one Opawa knocker is going to stomp down to the line and score very easily here. Off. Magic Mike came out narrowly the best. Uh, going straight past it though was Wally Baxter to hit the lead wider on the track. Sketchy Steve coming into third. A bit wider out around them goes Thunder Dragon Stenson close up in behind them. And uh, back last here as they're about to turn in is a Hoka Striker. In front here is a Wally Baxter. Wally Baxter coming after it. Magic Mike closing quickly. Don't know. Magic Mike, Wally Baxter. Not sure. Stenson third. Sketchy Steve next to go by. Uh, back behind that to a Hoka Billy. Over on the outside of it was Thunder Dragon and a Hoka Striker is the last in. Another close one. I think Wally Baxter might have, been, might have been nabbed here. Had the lead on the turn. Magic Mike was out and after him. Rolling. Nearly there. Racing. 
thrilling spell came out best on the inside. Billy West goes up to it. Way to red on the track going forward. Homebush Riley, Corborn Wales on the outside. There's a bit of a gap back to the rest. Unreliable Andy Homebush Hill. They're not in it. Back behind those thrilling spell cop the check out the back door and Elby McLeod's out there with it. In front is Homebush Riley. Homebush Riley out wide, Corborn Wales. Homebush Riley, Corborn Wales. Uh, then we got uh, Billy West just shading unreliable Andy. In behind those to Candy Boy. Uh, then LB McLeod on the last two are Homebush Yield and Thrilling Spell are at the back of the field. Homebush Riley had them on the turn. There was a bit of a skirmish around the top and a few of them went out the back door, put the race probably in two divisions. But Homebush Riley, Corborn Wales tried hard. He's out wide. He's taking ground off the five. Lucky's on the roll. Okay, now they're down on the inside, one alley. Set, racing, out in a pretty good line here. Pianissimo missed it just a touch. Uh, getting out well was uh, another casino when Kianella drives up on the inside. Big bunch here. And a power JJ's going to loop them all and hit the lead. Skirmish out the back door went Carnella uh, towards the back end of the field. Another casino and Octagon's Ghost on the turn. Oh, power JJ. Nice break. Out by about three. Oh, power Binge comes after it. Pianissimo gets into second. Down to the line. Oh, power JJ. Pianissimo. A clear second. Oh, power Binge third. And then Freckle Flyer who came from the back. In behind those, uh, the next to go by is Dallas Baxter and Octagon's Ghost. Uh, another casino was well back, and poor old Carnella got bowled out of it around the turn. Gee, that two dogs run good. Uh, Power JJ, too good here. He was last out there, Pianissimo. He stuck to the rail. Told you it could run, but not as good as this. Uh, Power JJ, very nice run here. Everybody wanted a shot for the front. They were fairly bunched up, and something had to happen, and it did. Lucky closing. Good jeans won. Set off. Good jeans came out the best like Kings, Mr. De Mile. It's good jeans in front. Opar Express heads the chase after it. Closing on those captain shares running around the outside. There's four lengths away to Outbackville. Back on the inside is Homebush, Spike and Moon and Sea. And well back behind them, Haley, James and Lark Kings. Up they come. It's game over. Down to the line and good jeans is going to bolt in. Good jeans. Uh, then we've got Captain Shares, I think, just shading Opawa Express. There's a gap away behind those to Homebush Spike. Outback Villas, the next to go by. It's being followed by Moon and Sea, and uh, with that was uh, Luck Kinks and Haley James is one of the last to go by. Easy as you like. 162 here. Good jeans. Bolts and flew the lids straight to the top. And once you do that from the inside alley, you're never going to be caught around here. Lucky's rolling. Volante the inside. Set racing. Missing it a bit was Corborn Ken out the back door. Big John Cannon and no power. Kevin came out running. Down on the inside then. Falante uh, trying to get a path through. His tilt making ground got to second. Corborn Ken recovers next. Then Kentaro Baxter. Morty's babe towards the tail of the field and thrilling shrimp is last. Oh, power Kevin off and gone. Oh, power Kevin from tilt and Falante down towards the line. Oh, power Kevin beats Falante. Tilt third is Kentaro Baxter. Uh, Corborn Ken is out wide. Uh, then Big John Cannon back behind those to Morty's babe and thrilling shrimp is the last one to go by. Too good. Opawa Kevin had them on the turn by a good three lengths, giving chase with Tilton Falante. They were going to battle out the minor money, but Opawa Kevin, way too good here. Wins by handsome margin in a canter, really. Fifty-seven. 
Nearly there, racing, rocketing out here was Homebush Minions, put four lengths on them already. Running up on the outside, another Vespa poking up in the middle of runners on the inside, Opawa Norris. Uh, back near the fences, Opawa Ohio. Closing on those is his nibs. Back behind him, I know Tinkerbell and she ran his last. On the bend, Opawa Norris took over and gapped them by a big margin. Corborn Ohio heads the chase, but Opawa Norris bolts in. Corborn Ohio is in a photo with another Vespa and closing late was no Tinkerbell and back behind those to she ran uh, his nibs and homebush minion is the last one to go by explosive speed on the bend number three Opawa Norris well they said it was smart and smart it is Opawa Norris this has been easy Coburn, Ohio's just going to hold second. Uh, another Vespa was on the inside. So we're set. Flippity jibbity the inside. Coburn, Christie beside it. Look, closing, we're set, we're off, feel the way, came out in the perfect line here. Ginger Billy over the outside and driving underneath it. Corborn Christie to grab the lead. Flippity Jibbity follows those. Then we've got Definite. A bit further back to Opawa, Tomo and Crystal Flame. Back behind those here to watch and going Tronto. On the turn and Corborn Christie is away by about three lengths. Coming after it on the outside, Flippity Jibbity and Ginger Billy. Uh, but Corborn Christie is in. Corborn Christie, Ginger Billy and Flippity Jibbity. Uh, fourth over, Opawa, Tomo, Crystal Flame was next to arrive. Uh, then we've got Definite behind those. Uh, just ahead of that might have been Heritage watching going pronto as the last to go by. Just missed the kick a little bit, drove up underneath. Uh, Ginger Billy pinched the lead and ran away. The last little bit, Coolborn Christie. Too good here. Nice dog, isn't it? rolling nearly there we're off feel the way out well as Nina backs to the inside out and after it is Glenn is goodsy on the outside in between runners for Serta Reeves a bit further back behind those then as shines bright uh, trying to thread a path through as Opawa Zena shines bright got checked out the back and out there with it is another message uh, and also well back here for Serta Reeves homeward bound here and Glenn is goodsy in front Coming after on the inside, Nina's Baxter powering along the fence and out wide Opawa Kuru. Nina Baxter, Opawa Kuru, not sure. Uh, another message is right there. Glenn is good deep for the minor money as well. It's up close. Uh, right there as well. Grandstand finish. Shines bright wasn't all that far away either as they went up uh, across the line. This is very tight here. The one, Nina Baxter powered up on the inside and Opawa Kuru absolutely flew down the outside might have got the nod in might have they are closing nearly there off a power but came out pretty well on the inside Going out with it is Ginger Lock. Another fan is trying to burst up and Arkin and Bale burst to the lead. Skirmish in the field. Uh, Ginger Lock went back. Uh, back there with it is another fan at Homebush. Bruno, they're on the turn. Harkin and Bale's off and gone. Uh, hitting the chase, Opawa Barton. Down the outside comes Jimmy Hammer. But down towards the line and Harkin and Bale will beat Opawa Bart. Third's Jimmy Hammer. Uh, then we've got wrinkles behind those. The next to go by is going to be another fan with Ginger Lock in behind it. Further back behind those to Om Nom Nom. Never in the hunt. And just up ahead of it was Homebush Bruno. And he got there. Number six, Harkin and Bale. Opawa Barton, Jimmy Hammer doing some nice work late in the piece.